Liftoff will start in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. Everyone and welcome to Janner Exploration Discovery. Today I want to talk about something that a lot of people are wondering about. Are we going to be in the midst of a civil war? Well, that's a good question. Things keep going the same way that they are, and then the uh, shit hitting the fan in the civil war, then that's uh, that could be how shit does hit the fan in the beginning is civil war breaking out. Now, I'm not going to fear monger and stuff and everything, and people that always say that you're fear mongering. People who say that you're fear-mongering are people who just want to refuse to believe anything. But if you don't realize that there's something majorly wrong going on right now, then I don't know what to tell you. It's uh, You can definitely feel a shift in the world and the way that everything has been going and all the wars that have been uptaked. I mean, if you look at everything that's happened this year, Yemen and just everything else that has happened. Iran declared war on us, but they also declared war on Israel, and they declared war on Iraq, and all kinds of things. Iran just declaring war on everybody. And people think, I saw this the other day, that people think, well, I understand like living off grid, but what good does it do you to be prepped? Why wouldn't you just want to go like everybody else and die in the event of this and this and this. I'm not talking about withstanding an atomic blast. I'm talking about people think that if utter chaos ensued, financial collapse, and everybody's going around getting killed and everything, and there's no food to be had, then people think that you should just lay down and you shouldn't do anything and fight for your survival. And that's just an insane way to think to me. Of course, I've been I've been in the survivalist mindset. I was raised in that aspect of things, I was also raised by people, and I was around people when I was younger, Green Berets, and they just have that instinct to survive, and it's just something that stuck with me all this time and everything, but at the end of the day, if you don't realize something's wrong, and guys, teach their own, I'm not telling you like what to do, nobody on this planet is going to tell you what you should be doing and shouldn't be doing, and to buy this, don't buy this, don't buy that. Everything I talk about on this channel, everything that this channel talks about is opinionated and it's fine if you found that the gear doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for this person or that person or this and that. Well, but guys, if you're not awake right now, I don't know what else to tell you. It's very difficult to really say. And of course, none of us know for sure and everybody... Everybody thinks preppers are paranoid and they're they fear everything and everything and that's actually the opposite. We and if you trust everything in life, you probably have major problems if you just want to sit back with your head in the clouds. But that is the problem with things like VR these days. Everybody wants to live in virtual reality and nobody wants to actually look at reality what's going on. And it's been being said time and time again, 2024 is going to be a hell of a year. It is going to be a year that is unforgettable. It's going to be a year that utter chaos ensues in one form or another. And I, I, do, I do believe in some form or another it will because, well, utter chaos is going on right now. And events are just going to keep unfolding and keep following. And you got everything happening you got, you still have constant like riots, and it's not just in the United States, it's happening all over the world, I mean, we got things, I mean, again, all the wars starting up, of course, but we've always had wars, and we'll always have wars, it's just something, it's, as a human nature, people are going to fight about things, people are going to fight about things, politics, money, religion, anything that you disagree on, wars can be started over, it's really just as simple as that. And you don't like need any reason. But instead of trying to make peace trees and tie everything out, the first deal is, well, I'm going to show you how bad I am and I'm going to attack. And that's just the way that it works. And it's funny because 
a lot of people think that way too. A lot of people think think that way. Well, you disagree with me, so you're just a fucking idiot. Like people have that mentality of thinking, guys, and that is a major problem in the world today. Is that people think that way? People think that because you view things differently than they do, that you're an idiot and they're right and everything they believe is right. And if you believe that everything that you believe is right, then you need to back down to arrogance a little bit, guys. Otherwise, it will be back down for you. Believe me, it's something that somebody eventually is going to put you in your place. It's just the way that things are and... That's the thing. And it's better for it to happen now than after shit hits the fan and everything. And this is a... It's been a harsh winter. And guys, that's really what I want to talk about in today's video. All these events are unfolding. Everything's happening. You got to really be sensing that something's wrong. But on top of that, think about how harsh this summer was. This last summer was and how harsh this winter's been. This has been the coldest winter on record in ridiculous amount of times up in North Dakota it was their record low was negative 73 degrees and they already broke that this year I mean 73 below and they got colder than that I mean that is just utterly insane so when you're trying to survive in that type of temperatures yeah you're going to want to be prepared you're going to want to be I don't like the term prepper prepper is thrown in with fear mongers and they're thrown in with that group of people that, again, everybody thinks that you're a psychopath, but we all want to survive, and whether you admit it or not, we all want to survive and go on, and we don't like realize how precious life is most of the time because we get caught up in our own worlds, but I've had a lot of members of my family die this year, so it's something that Really, and there's been a lot of young people dying too, and it's just the the way the world is now. And I they say the good die young, and it's just the way that it goes. And that's not always the case, but that's the case a good majority of the time it seems like. But you have to remember too, guys, that none of us are good. None of us are truly good. We've all got we've all got dark sides to us and everything. But you have to remember though, guys. Your instinct to survive is only going to be as good as your training. So get out there and train. I know I've jumped around a lot in this video. But that is how insane that the world is right now. This is an insane time for us. And really at this point, a global collapse is pretty much in the works. I mean, you got to be thinking about everything that uh, has been happening. I mean... Food supplies have been at all-time lows. The financial status of every country is just starting to really deplete in some form or another. Populations are outpacing the supplies that we can have. So it's just, just one of those things. And we could be facing a civil war. We could be facing like World War Three. We could be facing them both at the same time. Nobody knows for sure. But it's just something that I wanted to touch on this video, especially after seeing that the other day whenever somebody was like, well, I'd rather just die than have to fight for my right to live. And that is the problem, though, too. That entitled mindset of people anymore where they're like, well, I don't want to do anything. Even if it means that I have to oh, well, grow my own food, I don't want to have to do that. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, hunting, fishing, uh, chopping firewood. Well, that's physical labor. I shouldn't have to do that. I should be getting a check every month. That's a big problem, guys. And that entitled attitude is going to go away really fast if shit does hit the fan. Believe me. So with that being said, I know, again, guys, this video jumped around all over the place. But that is the status of the world. It, you can't keep up with all of it. It's going zigzag here and there and everywhere. God bless each and every one of you. I'm Jared with General Exploration and Discovery. Subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads.